Good morning, everybody. Let's read a word. Yesterday the weddings was very nice. It was the first time in some something like that. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning. Let us put aside everything that is disturbing us and making us stressful, coming towards you with an open heart. Father, it's not easy, but we know that you are with us. You gave us our you gave us your spirit. your peace, your love. you always been with us and we, no matter where and how we go through what kind of things in life, you always, you always loved us, you always protect us. No matter where we are, you always are with us. Our hearts are filled with your love. which I can feel even right now. I remember even in my youth that you used to speak to me, but I was refusing you. So now when I'm born again and, and I understand that you really want all the best for me and I went through all this this evil, this unforgiveness, this hatred towards other people. I came through and accepted your son, Jesus Christ, as my only savior. So I'm grateful and thankful. Thank you for understanding that you are putting in my heart about your, your righteousness, your love your compassion, your mercy, your grace. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I just want to read something. I don't know even what, but... Let's read from Hebrews chapter 11 verse 23 the fate of Moses by the fate of, by the fate Moses when he had, when he was born was a hidden for the month month by his uh, parents because they saw he was beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's edict by the fate Moses when he had grown up refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to endure ill and treatment with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasure of sin, considering the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking to the reward. By faith he left Egypt, not fearing the wrath of king, for he endured as seeing him who is unseen by faith he kept the pass passover and the sprinkling of blood 
so that he who destroyed the firstborn would not touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as though they were passing through the dry land, and the Egypt Egyptians, when they attempted it, were drowned. The fate they overcame. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they had been encircled for seven days. By the faith Rahab the harlot, harlot did not perish along with those who were disobedient after she had welcomed the spies, spies in the peace. And what more shall I say, for time will fail me if I tell of Gideon, Bark, Samson, Jep Jepatah of David and Samuel and the prophets who by faith conquered kingdoms, performed acts of the righteousness, obtained promises, shut the mouths of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword from weakness, were made strong, became mighty in a war, put foreign arm, armies of, to, fl uh, to flight, a woman received back their dead by resurrection, and others were tor tortured, not accepting their release, so that they might obtain the better resurrection, and others experienced mockings and scourges, yes, also chains and Im imprisonments. They were stoned, they were shone in two, they were tempted, they were put into the death with a sword, they went about in sheepskins, in the goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, man who, man, man of whom the word was not worthy, wandering in distress, and mountains and caves and holes in the ground, and all these having gained approval through, through their faith did not receive what was promised because God had provided something better for us so that apart from us they would not be made perfect. Race of Faith, Chapter 12 Therefore, since we have so great cloud of witness surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us let us run with endurance to the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on a Jesus, that author of perf perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, has sat down at the right hand at the throne of God, disciples of God. For to consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. You have not yet res res resisted, resisted to the point of shedding blood in your striving against the sin. This is the great part. This is, this is the one. Is, is, this is the good one. And you have forgotten the exhortation which is addressed to you as a sons. My son, do not regard light, lightly the disciple of Lord, not fate when you are reproved by him. For those who the Lord, uh, for, do, uh, for those who, whom the Lord loves, he disciples, and he scourges every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you are endure, endure. God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom his father does, uh, does not discipline, discipline? But if you are without disciple, discipline, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegi illegitimate children and not sons. Furthermore, we had earthly fathers to disciple, disciple us, and we respected them. Shall we not much rather be subjected, subject, subject to the Father of spirits and, li uh, and live? 
for the disciplin disciplined as for the short time as seemed best to them but he disciples us for our good so that we may share his holiness all discipling for the moment seems to be joyful but sorrowful yet to those who have been trained by it afterwards it yields yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness amen let me stop therefore the strengthen the hands that are weak and the knees that are feeble and make straight paths for your feet so the limb which is lame may not be put out of joint but rather be held purpose no, pursue peace with all men and the sanctification without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one comes short of the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springing up cause trouble, and by it many be de defiled, that there be no immoral or god godless person like Esua, Esu, who sold his own right birth for the single meal for you know that even afterwards when he desired to inherit the blessing he was rejected for the f uh, for he found no place for repentance though he saw sought for it with tears glorious company for you have not come to the mountain that can be touched and be blazing fire and to the darkness and gloom and whirlwind weir, weir weir, and to the blast of the trumpet and the sound of words which sound was such that those who hear begun began that no begged that no further word then spoke to them for they could not bear the, bear the command if even a beast touched the mountain, it will be stoned. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I am full of fear and trembling. But you have come to the mountain Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to the myriads of angels, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn who are enrolled in the heaven. And to, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, and med, med mediator of the new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood which speaks better than the blood of Abel. Hear the heavenly voice. See to it that you do not refuse him who is speaking. For if those did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will be escaped, who turn away from him who warns from heaven, and his voice shook the earth then, but now he is promised saying, yet once more I will shake not only the earth but also the heaven. This expression, yet once more, denotes, the removing of those things which can be shaken as of created things so that those things which cannot be shaken may remain therefore since we receive a kingdom which cannot which cannot be shaken let us show gratitude by which we may offer the god an acceptable service with reverence and awe for our god is consuming fire Amen. This is the greatest part. I like it. Brothers and sisters, let us close with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for every single word that I was reading right now. For strengthening my faith and understanding the things that you did on earth then and now. May our faith been, been, may our faith grow stronger in the fear of your awe, of, of, of your works on earth. 
and then and now may we awe about the things that you did in the jesus mighty name we receive your glory through the through the knowledge that you did here you're doing you are you are you are doing and you are still doing you are everlasting god from alpha and omega you are alpha and omega the ending the beginning and the ending their heavenly father may the holy spirit teach us the things that we need to know and if we have the spirit in it within us then who we need to be taught by the only you thank you father for your angels that are guarding us from all kinds of evils thank you for the thank you father for your chastening and testing us renewing and helping us with the walk in the faith may our faith be refined as a gold so we can strengthen others and re uh, reveal the things that you are revealing to us for those who don't want to and, do and not seeing the things that you want to reveal to us and them let us father to pr let us pray for them in a faith that can touch their hearts and you can speak to them through the jesus christ and his crucifixion on the cross and the blood that he shed for our sins so made so they may be convicted for the things that will come and the things that are happening in their hearts and in their lives. Father, reveal us the revelations for the things that will come and that are important for our lives. Renew us, heal us, cleanse us, so we can be perfect in your sight. And then you can, when the Son, your Son, Jesus Christ, returns, he can find us blamelessly clean. In the mighty name of the Jesus Christ, help us with a walk towards you. In the mighty name of the Jesus Christ, I want to ask you to protect my family and every single person's family who is watching right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Bye, brothers and sisters.